Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Well, in the last couple of videos we showed you how to create a slide-in button with an overlay there and a bit of pop-up text. We did this yesterday and it got the question, well if you can pop it up from the bottom, can you pop it down from the top? Simple answer is, yep, yeah, you sure can and it's really easy. It's pretty much the same thing. So if I roll up here, I've got an image there when I roll over, we got this call to action that's going to pop down from the top there. Really easy to do. There's one tiny bit of coding, just one little line. Don't let that put you off. I'll put it below the video. You're welcome to copy and paste it if you need to. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. Okay, I've got a section here, blue tab. If I click here, I've got a row, the green tab. And add a new module we've got a little button there so I'm going to click to add a new module and this will work with most modules and if you see my other hover videos you'll know what's going on here the row here has got two columns in it the image that we're actually looking at initially there is in the column and the call to action that we're going to have drop down on it is going to sit on top of the column here so let's choose a call to action here There's a call to action module. What I'm going to do is change that color slightly on the background. I'm going to leave everything else as it is. I will have a button on this. So obviously put your title in there. What you want your button to say there. The button will show up when I put a link in down below. And we've got the usual text field down here with paragraphs, headers, alignment features, and what have you. So next is the link. If you want a button just put your button link in here always best practice if you're linking to your own site keep it in the same window if you're linking off site open it in a new tab so your site stays open okay what i want to do with this background color here i'm going to leave everything else the same is i want to be able to see through it when we put an image in there so we can see what we're doing so i'm going to put a background color in Still in the content, I've gone into background. I'm going to make it blue. I'm just going to take the opacity down a bit so I can see what's going on behind it in a minute. Okay, so we've got our module here. Let's find the image that we want to see initially. And like I said before, the image resides in the column. So if we just click and go into the row, green tab, we've got two columns here. Column one is the left hand one, column two is the right hand one going to go into here and here's our background on the content tab and as with all Divi backgrounds you can add a color a gradient an image a video some background pattern and a background mask if you want to or combinations I'm just going to add an image let's use this one this time okay and as you can see we can see it through there because I gave it a bit of opacity our little module so we could see through but really I want to make this a fixed height so it's the same as our other one here and also because I'm going to be pushing this up out of the way I want to turn any overflow off so we don't see this when we push it out of the other way up the top there so I'm going to go over to my advanced still in the column settings here I'm going to go down to custom CSS and here's our little line of code very simple line all it says is height h-e-i-g-h-t colon you can give it the height you want in pixels I'm going to give mine 300 pixels as you can see it's extended just below our blue there so we've got our image that that's popping through there and it's the same height as our one next door which I know was 300 obviously you make yours exactly what height you want and as I mentioned we're going to be push pushing this up so we can bring it down so I don't want to see it when it's up there so we need to turn the overflow off so we can close up our custom CSS here we'll go down to visibility and here's horizontal and vertical overflow and I'm going to turn both of these off I know we're only scrolling vertically but if we don't do the horizontal as well we'll end up with a, a little slide bar and we don't want that good so we're happy with our column here 
let's go and fix our little module. So I'm going to save the column settings, save the row settings. We'll go back into the little module itself. First thing I want to do is fix that gap at the bottom. So I'm going to add a bit more padding to the top and a lot of padding on the bottom. And you'll see why in a moment. So let's go into our design in our call to action module here. Obviously you can style this how you want. You've got custom settings for your buttons here. Just go in there and turn that on. And also for your title and body text there. I'm going to leave that just as it is at the moment. But I'm going to go into spacing. And let's give it say 50 pixels padding on the top. Push it down a little bit. That's okay. Now I know this is 300 and I'm going to want to push this up by 300 in a minute so it disappears. So I'm going to give it say 350 pixels padding on the bottom. What that's going to do when we pull it up in a minute is enable it to have a handle which will be this padding at the bottom which will trigger it to pull back down again when we set the hover state. Okay, well let's put 350 in there. As you can see, that's filled that gap because this is all the way down here now. And I know we can't see it because we turned the overflow off, which is great. All right, well, let's make the movement happen here. Initially, I just want to see the image, so I don't want the writing. So we need to push it up. So common to most Divi modules, if you hover over the dark writing, you'll see some little icons appear. Go to the whichever thing you want to affect. In our case, this is the margin. Hit the little arrow and we can set a desktop state when your mouse is not on it and a hover state when your mouse is on it. So when our mouse is not on it, all we want to see is the image. So let's push that writing out of the way by giving it a negative margin on the top by let's try 300 and see what, what happens. So I flipped it down to negative one and I'm going to just type in 300. Yeah, it's out of the way. That's fine. Great. And then when we hover over it, we want to bring it back again. So I'm going to put a zero in there. Great. So when we're not hovering on it, just got the image. And when we are, we've got that. But what I'd like to happen is I'd just like to see the image when we're not hovering over it clearly. And then just have a colored background when it drops down. So still in our call to action, let's go back to our background, the content background. And again, we'll roll up, get that little arrow. Now, when we're not hovering over it, we want an absolutely transparent background. So we just see the nice image. When we hover over it. I want a solid blue background. Great. Now the time that Divi takes to get from desktop to hover state by default is 300 milliseconds, which is pretty quick, just under a third of a second. If you want to change this, speed it up or slow it down, still in a call to action, let's go to advanced. We'll go down to transitions. Here's transition duration. There's the default 300. You can slide it to the right if you want to slow it down. I'm going to slow mine down to about three quarters of a second. Or obviously slide it to the left if you want to speed it up. You can also just type in a value and you can also increment up and down with the little arrows to the right there. Don't want any delay. And the transition speed curve I'm going to use again today is easy and ease out. These are all subtly different. They all work great in various situations. But this is the one I go to for my hover effects. So I'm going to leave it like that. Save our changes. Save the page changes, little purple button. Save draft or publish if you're ready. And let's exit the visual builder. Great, and there's our little image. When I hover over it, our little call to action is going to pop down and people can click on it like that. And when I said we're putting the padding on the bottom, 350 picks so it has a handle. Well, if I didn't do that, when we triggered it, we wouldn't be able to bring it down. So we're hovering over it as soon as we get there. It's just it's got no background and the writing's up the top there. So there you go, guys. There's a drop down call to action over an image. 
Now, of course, these hover effects are great on desktop, but on mobile and tablet, they're not going to know to tap on here. So you may want to do two versions. And it's really easy to do two versions with Divi. Let's enable the visual builder. And you can go down. And what you can do, you can do this with sections, rows, and modules. Let's just do it with this row. I'll click on the row here. Two little squares to clone the row. We've got identical rows down below. Put the second one however it is you want it. Perhaps with the writing visible all the time. And then what you can do is go in there. Let's go into the settings. Go over to advanced and visibility. And we'll disable this one on desktop. You'll see it turn light gray there. Notify us that it's disabled on desktop mode. And then you can go back into this top one, into the settings, advanced, visibility, and you can disable this one on phone and tablet. So they'll just see that bottom one there. So there you go, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.